This is the latest dangerous trend sweeping social media. First time trying. It's colorful, it's fruity, and it can cause heart attacks, strokes, and permanent brain damage. Galaxy Gas is the newest nickname for nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide abuse. Kids using Galaxy Gas. Right, we're talking about laughing gas. Leaving people high. TikTok is blocking the content. That's right, the laughing gas that started as a party drug in the 1700s, which was later called Whippets since the 60s, has now been rebranded again as Galaxy Gas. The more I read about this story, the more interested I became. So I just kept digging. Why does the medical literature say there's no evidence that nitrous oxide is addictive when thousands of people on Reddit tell a different story? And what really happens to the body when you inhale nitrous oxide? Does it really kill brain cells? If I told you to imagine someone who's selling drugs to teenagers, I bet you'd imagine someone in a dark alley or lingering on a sketchy street corner. What's shocking about this story is that Galaxy Gas is a legitimate brand selling its products in Costco and in Walmart. So how is this even legal? Basically, Galaxy Gas flies under the radar, telling everyone that their product is used for making whipped cream. And at first glance, that seems reasonable. But when you look closer, things don't really add up. A typical can of whipped cream uses about 6.5 grams of nitrous oxide, and the tanks they're selling contain 2,000 grams of this stuff. Who's just sitting around at home making 300 cans worth of strawberry watermelon whipped cream? The other weird thing is that it's more often found in vape stores than in kitchen supply stores. Plus, the bright colors on the packaging and the candy-like flavors seem to attract a younger audience. Recently, there have been viral videos of school kids inhaling directly from these brightly colored flavored canisters. And these videos raise so much alarm that TikTok actually banned the term galaxy gas. It's even found its way into Roblox, a children's video game as a fashion accessory. All of this hype has brought it to the attention of the mainstream media. Given all the negative attention, galaxy gas has stopped selling canisters directly from their website. And users are really starting to panic, with one Reddit user saying, better go ahead and start stocking up. But that doesn't mean they've shut down operations. They're still distributing their products to vape shops, Despite the recent trend, nitrous oxide is nothing new. It was first isolated back in 1772 by the English chemist Joseph Priestley. Back then, many physicians believed in the miasma theory of disease, essentially that many diseases were caused by bad air. So they thought that good air might be the cure. A special lab was set up to create gases and test them on patients. James Watt, the guy whose improvements to the steam engine helped drive the industrial revolution, actually designed the equipment to create these gases and the chamber for testing them. But it was this guy, Humphrey Davy, who was in charge of the lab. After his patients reported some unexpected side effects to their nitrous oxide treatments, he decided to test it on himself. In his own words, It absolutely intoxicated me. This gas raised my pulse and made me dance about the laboratory as a madman and has kept my spirits in a glow ever since. He was obsessed with this feeling of euphoria and gave it the nickname laughing gas. And he quickly developed what we might call an addiction to the gas. The desire to breathe the gas is awakened in me by the sight of a person breathing. He invited his friends to the lab for after hour parties so his friends could try it as well and they loved it. I'm sure the air in heaven must be this wonder-working gas of delight. Its use quickly spread through the upper class of England, and abuse has persisted in some form ever since. Although Humphrey Davy enjoyed a successful career, he had a stroke at the young age of 47 and then died at just 50 years of age. Could this have been caused by his nitrous oxide habit? It's possible. Let's talk about the risks. I see a lot of people saying that nitrous oxide kills brain cells. That's true. But it's actually worse than that. It's a neurotoxin, meaning that it'll kill neurons, not just in your brain, but in your spinal cord and in your arms and your legs. And here's how it happens. Nitrous oxide oxidizes the cobalamin ion in vitamin B12, making it useless for your body. And this is a disaster for your body and nerves because B12 is essential for your body to make myelin. Myelin not only insulates nerves, but allows nerve signals to travel quickly and without losing their strength. Without myelin, your body isn't able to transmit nerve signals effectively, leading to muscle weakness and changes in your sensation. One person on Reddit recently wrote, I did a lot of nitrous oxide for a couple weeks. 
and now my whole body is feeling like jello, like my muscles don't feel normal and I can't tense my muscles normally. Here's what it looks like on MRI. This is a 30 year old man who was abusing nitrous oxide. He went to his doctor complaining of one week of numbness and weakness in his arms and legs and feeling off balance while he was walking. See that area that looks like a white upside down V? That shouldn't be there. And it represents damage and degeneration of the spinal cord. But that's not all. Without functional vitamin B12, there's a buildup of homocysteine in your body, and that increases your risk of forming blood clots, which can cause a heart attack, stroke, or pulmonary embolism, which is a blood clot in your lungs. A recent systematic review identified 14 reports of serious blood clots in young people who were regularly using nitrous oxide, who had no other reason to get a blood clot. Here's one case in particular, where a 27 year old man had a massive heart attack after inhaling 3.3 kilograms of nitrous oxide over 48 hours. When he was rushed to the cath lab, the cardiologists found that his left anterior descending artery was completely blocked with a blood clot. He survived, but his heart was permanently damaged. And that brings us back to Humphrey Davy, the original nitrous oxide addict. Remember, he had his first stroke at the age of 47, which is really young. And then just a few years later, he had a second stroke and passed away. We'll never know for sure. I think it's possible that these strokes were caused by high levels of homocysteine from nitrous oxide abuse. So at this point, you might be thinking, can't you just supplement with extra vitamin B12 to prevent all this from happening? Good thinking, but the short answer is no. There are many published reports in the medical literature of patients who were supplementing vitamin B12, but still developed neurotoxicity from nitrous oxide. I think the rapper Lil Nar did a great job summarizing the safest way to use galaxy gas. You know what I'm saying, young, only way to do that galaxy gas shit without f you know, first you gotta check the drip. You know what I'm saying, get the tip, get that big beacon like that here. Couldn't have said it better myself. And if brain damage wasn't enough to dissuade you, this destruction of vitamin B12 also impairs your ability to make purines and pyrimidines, which are the building blocks of your DNA. We're not 100% sure of the long-term implications of this, but in the short term, we can actually see that it makes your red blood cells change shape and get larger. So these are all chronic effects and they're obviously really bad. But what if you just wanna try it once? Is it safe? Depending how you use it, you can actually die from a lack of oxygen. There's a photo of Kanye West wearing a mask and allegedly using nitrous oxide. Ryan Garcia, this yeah, I'm on the nitrous. This is incredibly dangerous because if he passes out with that mask on, he could die from a lack of oxygen. In fact, when we use it in medical settings, it's always mixed with oxygen to prevent that from happening and then oxygen levels are monitored closely. Frostbite in your mouth and throat is also surprisingly common because when the nitrous oxide leaves the tank and expands, it rapidly cools down. In fact, when I was looking at the nitrous oxide subreddit, I saw three different people posting about frostbite and burns that they had just in the last day. And you don't know in advance if you're the person who can try it once and walk away, or if you're gonna be chasing that high for years to come. Although there's no scientific consensus that nitrous oxide is addictive, all you have to do is look at cases of people who continue to use nitrous despite damage to their brain and spinal cords. The nitrous reddit group is full of people reporting that they've lost control of the habit. And there's even a nitrous oxide recovery group to help people who are addicted. And finally, let's acknowledge that this is all assuming that you're actually consuming pure nitrous oxide without any contaminants. But let's be real, you're inhaling a gas made in a factory that wasn't intended for human use. How do you know what's in the tank that you're buying from that local vape shop? Just because it has slick branding doesn't mean it's safe to consume. Humans are curious by nature, and that's something that makes us so special. But don't let flashy marketing and trendy videos take your curiosity to a harmful place. So clearly vitamin B12 is really important. Find out what happens to your brain if you don't get enough vitamin B12 in your diet by clicking on this video right here. So see you in the next one. Bye for now.